Welcome back yogis. Today we're going to get a bit deeper into the hamstrings with some floor poses, but we'll start by stretching out the sides of the body so that we can loosen up the spine before then. So let's start in Sukhasana. Find your shoulders nice and relaxed. The crown of your head is lifted. Check in with your breath in and out through the nose. Finding an intention today to release any areas of tightness or tension within our lives. And in so doing, we release that tension within our bodies as well. So take an inhale to raise your arms up alongside your ears. And we're going to exhale, twist to the left side. So your left fingers come behind you. You're lengthening through the spine. And then exhale, twist a little deeper. Feel like your sternum is drawing towards the back wall. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. From that twisted position, inhale to raise your back arm up alongside the ear, and then exhale, bend forward so that you bring your front shoulder towards your right knee, and you're reaching through the left arm to lengthen the whole left side of the body. Keep the heart open so you remain twisted, and you might feel this as a nice stretch through the lower back. Take a deep breath there. And then inhale as you rise up. You can exhale to lower your hand down behind you again. And inhale, untwist, coming back through center. Exhale, twisting again, this time to the other side. So now your right hand comes behind you. Again, find an inhale to sit up tall. And an exhale to twist you a little deeper, heart moving towards the back of the room. And from that twisted position, again, inhaling to raise the back arm. And exhale, dipping the front shoulder towards the front knee, really lengthening through your right arm. Feel that pulling, that stretching through the lower back. Another deep breath. And then inhaling to rise up, exhale, lower your back hand down. And we'll inhale to untwist, both arms coming up now. Exhale, bring your hands out in front. We'll come onto all fours so that you can then curl your toes under and exhale, send your hips back and up for downward facing dog. Just pedal it out there, just starting to loosen up the hamstrings between, before we get into some of our deeper poses from the floor. If you really tip your pelvis forward, then start straightening your legs, you'll feel that drawing the stretch more into your hamstrings and your calves. And maybe your exhales can allow you to sink a little deeper. Now inhale to roll forward, lower your knees down and bring your legs around in front of you. Take your next exhale to hug your right knee in towards your chest and then cross it over to the outside of the left leg this time. We'll start with a twist, again, softening up the spine. So inhale as you raise your arms and then exhale, twist towards the bent knee side. So your elbow will come to the outside of the knee your fingers are behind you like a kickstand. Lifting through the heart, so you're pressing into the fingers to sit up taller. And then your exhale can press against the thigh to twist you deeper. Take two deep breaths. And then your next inhale will untwist, raising the arms. Exhale, lower your arms down. You can take hold of your shin now we're going to place the sole of the foot to the inside of the left thigh. So your knee can bend down towards the ground. Keep softness in your left knee as well. We're coming into Janu Shirsasana, our head to knee pose. So inhale as you raise the arms and exhale, fold forward over that front leg. Now try to fold directly forward so that thigh will actually be laying along the left side of the body. Notice how your inhales can both lift and pull your chest forward and how your exhales relax you a little bit deeper down into the stretch. Take a few breaths. And now as a counter pose for this forward fold, we'll take a back bend. So inhale as you raise the arms up, 
Exhale, reach your right hand behind you until you can lean back into the hand. And then inhale, lift your hips into a supported wild thing pose. You can reach back overhead, hips and heart reaching up to the sky. And then exhale, lowering down. Now we'll inhale to raise the arms once again. This time with the exhale, twist so that your chest faces out over the bent knee side and then tip sideways into a revolved version of that Janu Shirsasana pose. So this time it's a lateral stretch, like you're trying to turn your side body to the inside of the thigh. Two breaths here. And then inhale to rise all the way back up, both arms coming up. Now exhale, lower your hands down, straighten both legs out in front of you. And take a moment of centered grounding in Dandasana. And then we'll exhale to bend the left knee in towards the chest. Cross the foot over to the outside of the right leg. And then with your inhale, raise your arms up and we'll exhale to twist towards that bent knee side so that your right elbow comes to the outside of the thigh. Left hand pushes the spine upwards into more alignment. And you can notice how the exhales twist you a little deeper here, pressing against the thigh to deepen that twist. A few breaths. Then inhale, untwisting, raising the arms. Exhale, allow that leg to untwist, to unwrap itself so that the sole of the left foot comes in towards the right thigh, gentleness in your right knee. Inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, fold forward, really reaching through the fingers until you can fold forward over that front leg. And again, notice how every inhale lengthens the spine and every exhale allows you to fold deeper. Take a few breaths. Now counteracting that with a back bend, we'll inhale to raise the arms up. Exhale, drop your left hand behind you so that you can lean back into that left hand, point the right toes, and inhale, lift the hips. So it's like you're coming up onto the left shin. Hips and heart lift to the sky, nice and open in a supported wild thing. And then exhale to lower back down. Now we're inhaling to raise the arms up once again. And this time the exhale twists us so that we face out over the bent knee side and then tip sideways to the inside of that extended leg, opening the heart, opening the chest. Take a few breaths here. And then your inhale can raise you back up and exhale to untwist both legs coming out in front of you now. Soften the knees as you tip the hips forward. We're going to balance out the spine with a Paschimottanasana, a forward fold from seated. Inhaling to raise the arms, lengthening the spine. Exhale, fold forward by tipping the pelvis further forward until your chest lays on your thighs. Then inhale to lengthen the spine, lengthening through the crown as if you're going to lay your chest on your shins. And every exhale as you soften, maybe you start to walk your feet a little further out in front, walking the heels forward so that you find a little more length in the hamstrings and the calves. Inhale, soften. Exhales, release. And with your next inhale, just walk your hands along the ground up towards you. Keep walking them back and find your way into Shavasana. Allow all tension to release with your breath as if your body's just melting into the ground. knowing that Mother Earth can absorb any of that stress energy for you. And you can let it dissipate.
stay as long as you'd like in your Shavasana. As always, releasing any tension, anything that was stored in the hamstrings, anything in your shoulders, just allow it to melt away. And I'll see you on the mat tomorrow. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.